Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom.
Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Such Shabbat a good Shabbat. thing is to welcome Shabbat in Keilah, in community, in this uh, family service, this Shabbat that is one of the last Shabbatot of 2021, right? And it's getting cold here in California. Are you suffering of the terrible weather? It was a bit cold today and I was afraid that no guy was going to show up. It's so cold for us here. We are not used to low temperatures. And I hope that we can, even if you are feeling a bit cold, you, we get to bring together some of the warmth of community, some of the warmth of uh, Shabbat. I'd love to invite Hannah and Wesley and family to light Shabbat candles. You can follow them on page 120. Shalom. May the light of these uh, Shabbos candles bring the light that we so much need in our lives as we enter this sacred time, this time uh, of community. I'd like to invite you, all of you, to turn your sidur. Are you, are you holding a sidur? No. If you are more than nine years old, even if you are six, you can hold a sidur. If you are preparing for your bar mitzvah, in a few more months, you can have a sidur in your hands. It's a casually nice thing. So you can hold a sidur. You can turn your sidurim, all of you, to page 130 as we welcome Shabbat with joy.
ね。No, we are going to do Shiruladonai. And I need everybody to stand up and dance with me. Follow my lead, it'll be fine. Here we go. Shiru, Shir Hallelu, Shir Hallelu, Shir Hallelujah. Shiru, Shir Hallelu, Shir Hallelujah. Shiru, 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 Shachadash. Shiru, Shiru, Shiru. Like we're welcoming Shabbat. <laughs> Shabbat right. is a place where time and space meet without questioning how the beginning began or how the ending ends. Shabbat is a place where song and silence meet, blessing with other each other with the gift of rest. Shabbat is the place where dreams and angels meet. Journey together for a world of peace. Shabbat is a place where lo- oh, homeless, home, like, holiness and eternity meet. Praying together for the world to come. Thank you, Ryan. In Shabbat, I'll tell you a little secret of what we try to do. We try to fall in love with our own lives, with the things, with the treasures we have in our lives. This poem, Lechadodi, that we sing at the middle of our Kabbalah Shabbat is a reminder that we can look at our lives with compassionate eyes and with a big, big heart embrace what's beautiful in our daily lives. We are on page 138 for Lechadodi. Lechadodi Likra at Kaala Pene Shabbat Mekabela Lechadodi Likra at Kaala Pene Shabbat Mekabela Shamor Besachor Bidibur Echad Ishmiyonu Adonai Echad, O Shemo Echad, Shemo Lekif Beret Belit Hilal, Lechad Dodi Likrat Kala, Lene Shabbat Nekabela, Lechad Dodi Likrat Kala, Shabbat lechu velecha ki mechol haveracha berosh mikel nesuha sof maaser ma shabbat chila lechadoti likrat kala ben ne shabbat nekavela lechadoti. Lord, 
Oh, <laughs> Turn toward the door and we say, Boi Kala. Boi ve shalom, ateret balaha, kam ve simcha, uve tzola. Ochemunehe, am segulaha, boi kala. Now, while you are standing, are you standing? Yes, you are. So, if you didn't have enough dancing, we try to welcome Shabbat with dancing, with our legs, being awake, being awake to the wonders in our lives, in our world. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Go for the dance. So, that's a Russian style dance. That's, that's how we used to dance in the shtetl, Ryan. That's exactly like that. So we take a moment, before we continue dancing, to look around, look around. Try to make contact, eye contact with someone and say, Good Shabbos. Say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> Try to acknowledge each other's presence as we acknowledge the beauty of our community. We will also acknowledge those that are joining us in Zoom. We see your faces. You might wave to each other. <laughs> we are waving to you. And of course, we acknowledge our friends joining us through Facebook and YouTube. We cannot see you, but we do acknowledge that you are here. We will now turn our Sidurim to page 140 for Psalm 92. Sadiq Tamar. <clears throat> In the, the minor? Sadiq Katamar Ifrach Ifrach Sadiq Katamar Ifrach Sadiq Katamar Ifrach Ifrach Sadiq Katamar Ifrach Keres Palvanon Yizke Keres Palvanon Yizke Keres Palvanon Yizke Yizke Keres Palvanon Yizke Keres Palvanon Yizke Sadik Katamar Yifrach, 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 S
46, sorry. Please remain standing for our who, for our call, for worship. And as we and as we get closer to the Shema, to the moment in which we acknowledge the unity of God, we first recognize our minyan, the diversity of our community. We understand and we recognize and, and we actually say that our community is diverse and that diversity is the most beautiful representation of the unity of God. Unity and not uniformity. that you are the night God, God of the universe who speaks the evening into being skillfully opens the gates thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons and uh, arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan you are creator of day and night throwing light away from darkness and darkness from light roll into dark Roll into light, night becomes day, day turns to night. Roll into dark, roll into light, night becomes day, day turns to night. Vore Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on evening. Baruch atah Adonai, Ariv Aravim. Amen. I'd like to invite you for one moment to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, to think about something that makes you feel deeply loved. 
It might be the image of a person that you love very much. It might be a parent, a teacher, a friend, a grandparent. It might be a landscape. Some of us, when we are out there in nature and we look at the wonders of the creation, we feel deeply loved. It might be a memory. A memory of something sweet, of a good moment. A moment of encounter. When we come toward the Shema, and we think of the unity of God, it's from a place in which we recognize that we are deeply loved. So once again, try to think of something that makes you feel deeply loved. And as you picture that, transform that presence, that idea into light. Imagine a light surrounding you, and as you see that light, and you breathe in, bring in into your system that light. Breathe in and out. Once again, take a deep breath. And out. Think of things that you might be carrying into this Shabbat that you don't need with you. And as you exhale, as you breathe out, let them go. We don't carry in Shabbat. So once again, we breathe in the light and the good energy, the loving ideas, and we exhale the things that we don't want to carry into this Shabbat with us. Take one more deep breath, and we become one. And we turn our seal into page 152 for the Shema. Shema Turn our Sidurim now to page 154. You can do it from there. Fifty-eight. 
eternal peace and also to become builders of peace. Shalom Aleinu ve'al kol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim Bless that you, Adonai Guardian of Israel whose shelter of peace is spread over us over all your people, Israel and over the city of Shalom Yerushalayim Amen 
Shabbat as a part of their lives and by doing so somehow to keep our heads above the water to keep our hearts and our souls in the right place I invite you to turn your theory into page 164 for Tfilat Amida you can follow along the words in our Sidur, the millennia all words of our Sidur or alternatively you can take a moment for personal meditation. Please rise. Adonai, Adonai, You know, the, the Midah is the only section in our service, in our prayers, in which we get to ask for the things that we want. And it's like a, we have been singing, we have been thinking of time and Shabbat, and by the time of the Midah, each of us has uh, his, her, their own list, and we can say, you know, I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about that, and some of us speak directly with God. Some of us use this time to focus on what we really want and what we really need. We are often so dispersed. There are so many things that we want, right? Think about Amazon for a moment. You enter, you go to Amazon, there are so many things. It's difficult to focus. But at the end of the day, there are not many things that we want. There are a couple of things that are really important to us. So during Damida, we think about those things. And if you didn't get the chance to think about that while we were doing Damida, you can do it later. But at the end of Damida, once we open our eyes again and we look around, we recognize that next to the things that we want, there are a bunch of people that also want all kinds of things. And so the last blessing of Damida, the last prayer, is a prayer for peace, for shalom. 
We ask for the ability to, to be able to honor what we need and what we deserve, deserve and desire, and at the same time to recognize that they are, we are surrounded by other people that also have needs. And symbolically, the word shalom, the word peace in Hebrew means also shalem, completeness. Symbolically, when we get to honor our own needs and we are able to recognize the needs of those around us, we are able to create a whole, something really, truly beautiful. We're on page 180 for the blessing, for shalom, for peace at the end of Filat Amida. Shalom bim bromaf Lu yase Shalom aleinu Ose shalom bim bromaf Lu yase Shalom aleinu Ose shalom bim bromaf Lu yase Shalom Aleinu Yase Shalom Yase Shalom Shalom Aleinu We take a moment to think of those that are dealing with illness, dealing with illness in their bodies, dealing with illness in their souls. We think of those dealing with addictions. So I invite you to, to share the names of those that you are thinking of in this evening of Shabbat as we go around the room. And of course, if you are connecting with us through Zoom, to share the names of those you are thinking of in the comment section on Zoom. And if you are on Facebook and YouTube, we will be able to see your comments later on and acknowledge them. Myla Kaysen, Jonathan Kaysen, Susan Angioni. We think of those the, whose names we have said. We think of those that we have in our hearts. As we turn our theory into page 371 for Misha Berach. Misha Who blessed the ones be 
our custom you do this, sorry. this our custom and family service not to share a conventional sermon but rather rather a, we call it story time it's to share a story so I'd like to invite Rachel to share to share a story I don't know the name of the story you are sharing Rachel may, you may say this yourself <laughs> He invited me to, okay, first of all, actually, I'm going to invite all the kiddos to come up front. All the kiddos, I see all of you. Come up front and sit with me, please. That's, yes, if you're already in the front row, that's okay, Amitai. Yeah. And he, he invited me to say the name of it because I confessed before the service. I went to three different people to confirm the pronunciation. It is the Cholent Brigade by Michael Herman. And I believe the pictures will also be up on the screen if you cannot see them from far away. On Friday, the day of the big snow, Mr. Monty Noodleman woke up early to shovel. He shoveled Mrs. Birnbaum's driveway so she wouldn't be late for work. He cleaned off Mr. Levi's minivan so Mr. Levi wouldn't be late for carpooling. And he dug out Rabbi Strauss's car after the snowplow came by and plowed it in. For hours and hours, Monty Noodleman shoveled. He shoveled walkways, alleyways, steps, and stoops. Now, his neighbors could walk their dogs, and the mail carrier wouldn't slip and fall. Thanks to Monty, kids could catch the school bus, and parents could run their errands and shop for Shabbat. With one last heave of a shovel, Monty cleared off the snow from the fire hydrant in front of his house, and yow! A fiery pain shot through Monty Noodleman's back. It hurt so much that he could barely hobble inside. The next day, at Shabbat services, everyone at the synagogue asked, where is Monty Noodleman? He hurt his back when he was out shoveling, came the answer. The congregation said the special get well prayer for him, like we just said a minute ago. Back at home, before the Birnbaum family sat down to their Shabbat lunch, Mrs. Birnbaum handed her son Izzy a large oil-covered bowl. This bowl is filled with warmth and comfort, she told him. Please take it to Monty. There is nothing like a tasty cholent to make someone feel better. Armed with the bowl of cholent, Izzy headed out the door to Monty Noodleman's house. Over at the Levi house, Mr. Levi had just finished setting the table for Shabbat lunch. He handed his daughter, Mira, a small covered pot. This pot is filled with happiness, he said. Please take it to Monty. At the Strauss house, the rabbi called to the twins. He handed Sophie and Sam a large thermos. This thermos is filled with friendship, he told them. Please take it to Monty. When the twins stepped outside, they saw their friend Hannah. She was carrying something, too. Where are you going, asked Sophie to Monty Noodleman's house. Along the way, they met Mira carrying her pot and Izzy with his bowl. As they turned the corner, they saw Nathan and Benji, Emma and Abby, Lila, Jonah and Jack, all heading to Monty Noodleman's house. It was a cholent brigade. Monty Noodleman was sitting at the window feeling lonely when he saw a parade of boys and girls marching through the snow. Where are they going, he wondered. The brigade trudged up Monty's snow-packed sidewalk, and Sophie knocked on the door. I'm coming, Monty answered. They waited and waited. Still coming, he called. When the door finally opened, there was Monty Noodleman, all hunched over. 
Shabbat shalom, Monty, everyone cried. We brought you Cholent. What a surprise, exclaimed Monty. The Cholent Brigade marched inside and set their bowls and pots and containers on Monty's dining room table. There's enough here to feed an army, said Monty. I hope you can stay and help me eat this. Monty eased himself into a chair, and everyone sat down around him. They ate cholent with beef and potatoes, beans and barley. They ate cholent with chicken and carrots and mushrooms, cholent with short ribs and sweet potatoes, and even chili cholent. Each dish was filled with warmth and comfort, happiness and friendship. This is a true feast, said Monty, and the best part is sharing it with you. On Sunday, the Cholent Brigade returned to Monty Newland's house, this time to shovel his sidewalk. Oh, um, let's see, okay. Yes, okay, so inquiring minds want to know what is Cholent? Cholent is a traditional Jewish stew that dates back many centuries. It is prepared on Friday before sundown, cooks through the night, and is eaten for Shabbat lunch. There are many recipes for cholent, and there on the screen is a classic recipe um, with the addition of carrots and barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce? Okay. <laughs> I was actually kind of questioning that as I said the words out loud, too. <laughs> like, so, so an important thing to know about cholent is that one of the reasons that it makes it so traditional is because it cooks overnight. So, so we, because we, some, many traditional Jews didn't used to light fire in Shabbat, they would prepare the cholent and it would let, they would let it cook for hours and hours and they, by the time they would eat it at Shabbat lunch, it would be perfectly ready. And for those that happen to be in Israel, some of the hotels in Jerusalem, they make traditional uh, hamim, cholent. It's, it's, it's good. Like, uh, has maybe a bit too much fat. So, but it's really good. And I want to say a quick thing for, for parents. I just want to share an interesting scene. I can't get past this Torah portion without saying that. We'll talk about the Torah portion tomorrow in, a, in extension. But one thing I want to share with you, Ariel, a very important thing. So you might tell mommy and daddy. Oh. The same thing with you, Luca. It's fine. Parents, look at me. One second. This is a reminder for all of us. This Torah portion, Parashak Baihi, is the last Torah portion of the book of Genesis. And every time that we hear about the life of someone, it means that someone is going to die. And in this case, it's Jacob. And the life of Jacob comes to an end. Now, the book of Genesis is full, full of family tensions and family conflicts and that's the story of our parents from the very beginning and including the fight between siblings uh, that starts in the very first Torah portion with Cain and Abel, right? Jacob changes the story. Jacob does something that nobody else did before and when he's about to die, until this moment we would bless one child or the other child and this Blessings were a gift that was only given to one child. Jacob changes the story because he brings all his children into the room before he parts away from this wall, and he gives a blessing to each one of them. And since that moment, that's how we, and using the words of the blessing that Jacob used to bless the children of Joseph, is that we bless our children since that moment, thousands of years ago, of years ago. And I want to say that at that moment, and this is the idea that I wanted you to keep in mind, or the idea that I'm thinking of in this Shabbat, in that moment in which Jacob broke with the tradition of his parents, he created a very important tradition for all of us. And I think that Loving a tradition is also being able to challenge it from time to time. And challenging tradition requires also lots of commitment. So with this idea of challenging tradition, but also being very committed to the tradition, I, I, want, to invite, I want to invite you to think about Parashat by he and to explore and try new traditions because 
that can potentially stick for thousands of years. Uh, we'll start to conclude our service. I invite you to turn your seat into to page 588. Amitai and Kaiden, can you open the curtain of the ark? Take a moment now to acknowledge mourners among our community. We think of those that we are missing so much. We think uh, about the space that they have created in our world, the, the lack, their absence. And we ask to find hope as we will recite renewed hope as we will recite the words of Kaddish. If you are during the first seven days of mourning, please rise. If you are during the first 30 days of mourning, please rise. If you are during the first year of mourning, please rise and share with us who you're remembering. Joe Anguiano. If you have a yard site this week, the anniversary of someone's passing by this time of the year and years past. see the comments on Zoom. You can support our fellows now while standing or sitting, joining us with your voices and your hearts on page 598 for Kaddish Avelim, Mourners Kaddish. Yit Kadal Vit Kadash Shemera Ba. Amen. Be'al Madi Verach Yirute, Ve'am Nich Mochute, Be'chayichon Uv'yomechon, Uv'chaye Dechol Beit Yisrael. Ba'agala uvizman kari vimru. Amen. Yeshemer Rabban Urach Leolam Omeel Mayel Brach. Yit Barach Vich Tabach Vit Pa'ar Vit Romam Vit Nase. Vit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Halal Shemid Kudisha Brichu. Leila min Kolbirchata Vishirata. Tush Bechata Venechemata. Da Amiran Belma Vimru. Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Vechayim Aleinu Velko Yisrael Vimru. Amen. Ose Shalom Bimroma, Huya Ase Shalom Aleinu Velko Yisrael Vimru. Amen. Amen. May the memories of your dear ones be always a blessing. You may be seated. So, just a, a, a quick uh, piece of information tomorrow. At 9 a.m., we will gather for our traditional Torah study at 10 a.m., uh, Shacharit Shel Shabbat. And at 12, we will get together for lunch and learn. Uh, we we'll have the, the opportunity to host my uh, dear friend, Rabbi David Young. Uh, David will be speaking about abortion 
in Jewish tradition, he will be touching on Jewish sources, he will be uh, introduced uh, by, I forgot your last name, Hannah. Newberg, so I have it written here, actually. Uh, and uh, by Dr. Newberg, uh, who, uh, who will be able also to, uh, to share some insights from uh, a medical perspective if questions uh, arise. Um, this, well, uh, I was wondering who is the other guitar player? Ariel is you. <laughs> okay. I'm experiencing some anxiety, I have I to say that. So totally anxiety. I'm going to touch my guitar. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, not because of the noise, just because of the guitar. <laughs> I'm, re I'm, re I'm recovering. I get that. Okay. Uh, so, so that's. Uh, so that, that's, uh, that's the program for tomorrow, and for those that are unaware, on February 18th, we will be celebrating Elaine Sasa's uh, 80th birthday. Uh, she, 19. We start on 18. We do start on 18. So we, are, we have a lunch on the, 18, on the 19th, but the celebration of her birthday starts on the 18th. Cantor Diego Rubinstein will be joining us uh, from Argentina, and uh, he's coming to visit and will be uh, leading services with us uh, during that weekend. And we'll be uh, singing uh, something that we call Elaine's play Playlist. <laughs> and the reason we are bringing Diego, because he's the only one who has the ability to sing in Yiddish, Latino, Spanish, English, uh, which is pretty much Elaine's Playlist. playlist so that's why Diego is going, to, and because he's a very good friend of the family, so Diego will be joining us, and we are very excited about it. Last but not least, if you have a birthday, an anniversary, or a simcha during the month of December, please rise and share with us. Tell us what you are celebrating. Itai, what are you celebrating? Your birthday. How old are you turning? 23. Masal Tov Bev. Your anniversary with Gary, who is in the kitchen. How many years? 45, 45 years, and, and you are retiring also. Yes. After 40 years, <laughs> which is the same amount of years that we were <laughs> in the desert. <laughs> so. <laughs> Your birthday. <laughs> Mazaltov, congratulations. Abby, how old are you turning? Seven. seven years old? Wow. That's a lot, Abby. Serious. Okay. Anyone else? Anything we need to know? Uh, Zach and Aidan, can you check, please, the, the comments on Zoom? I can't see it from here, and I don't want to miss anyone. Quickly, quickly, because we have service in the meantime. Any other, any other uh, thing that we need to acknowledge? No. So I we say... Okay. I finished my... My first semester of my fourth year of cantorial school. Good. Yay. So, so for all those that have uh, achieved a new time in life, we say, Shecheyanu bekimanu bekiyanu lasmana se, Baruchata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Shecheyanu bekimanu bekiyanu lasmana se. Please rise for Kiddush. Ayer Abay Boker, Yom Ashishi. 
וכולו השמיים בארץ, כל צבעם, וכל אלוהים ביום השביעי מחלתו אשר עשה, ושבועות ביום השביעי מכל מחתו אשר עשה. יברך אלוהים ביום השביעי ויקדש אותו כיבו שבת מכל מלאכתו אשר ברא אלוהים לעשור. סברי חבריי וחברותיי, סל לחיים ולבד. שנו במצוותיו ורצבנו בשבת קודשו ויבואו ברצות הלחילנו זיכרון למעשה בראשית כי הוא יום תהילה למקראי קודש זכר ליציאת מצרים קיבלנו ואחרת נתנו קידשת מכל העמים ושבת קודשך באהבה ובאסון הנחלתנו ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת לחיים You do Kiddush, you get to remove your mask for a moment. We take a moment uh, to, to share blessings with each other. To share blessings with each other. I invite all the families to get together. And if your family is not here, to get together with someone else. Or to close your eyes and to think of someone who you love very much. Make sure that we are, nobody remains alone. Make sure if you don't have, if you recognize that someone is alone, call him to your family. Elisa, you're standing alone. You come to my family. We adopt you for tonight. Here, Rachel is adopting you. I just want to say that today would have been my dad's 98th birthday. Wow. So in his honor, I do these blessings with you. For our sons, we say, Yesimcha. Yesimcha. Elohim. Elohim. Ke'ephraim. Ke'ephraim. Vechi Menashe. Ke'menashe. May God make you like Ephraim and like Menashe, who are very strong and good people. And on our daughters we say, Yesimech. Yesimech. Elohim. Elohim. Ke'sara. Ke'sara. Ke'ribka. Ke'ribka. Rachel. Rachel ve'leah. Vechi Leah. May God make you to be like our matriarch, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, who were good people. And in honor of all of us, we say, Yevarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha. Ken yei ratzon. Ya'er Adonai panav eilecha v'yichuneka. Ken yei ratzon. Yisa Adonai panav eilecha v'yasem lecha shalom. Can you hear that song? May God bless you and protect you. May God's light shine upon you and may God be gracious to you. May you find within you always God's presence. And may you find peace. May you find God's most beautiful gift that is internal peace. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Mevorach, everyone. Shalom, Rahab, Aristotelam, Shabbat Shalom Shalom Al Israel